Good morning everyone, thank you for coming here. My name is Jorge Luz Furiaga, I'm a researcher at ICT Against Climate Change Research Group that is part of the Itaca Institute in the Universitat Politecnica de Valencia in Valencia, Spain. I'm really glad being part of the Sumo User Conference 2020 in the track number five, called Real World Scenarios, presenting our work that is the methodological approach for the estimation of greenhouse gas and contaminant emissions from traffic by micro simulation and refined origin destination matrices. This is the agenda for this presentation. The whole presentation takes around 15 minutes. So let's start directly with the context. In most of the cities, the road transport is the primary source of emissions due to high levels of air contamination and the presence of different pollutants in the air. Thus, to reduce and mitigate global emissions in Europe and in the Paris Agreement and the Covenant of Mayors, governments of more than 100 countries are adopting different policies and strategies such as replacing conventional vehicle technologies to greener options like electric or hydrogen vehicles, changing the travel patterns of individuals to share mobility transportation modes. However, an accurately estimation of emissions reduction related to urban traffic is a very complicated task. Here we propose a scientifically rigorous protocol to accurately estimate greenhouse and other pollutant gases from large quantity of the data available from different heterogeneous sources and the results data, data can aid decision makers in planning better strategies for urban transportation. These are the materials we use in the methodology. Basically, most of them are inputs for the simulator. And let's see one by one. The first and the most important is the simulator that builds mobility in the city but with the dynamics and interaction of elements. We use simulation of urban mobility Sumo Eclipse 1.4 version. It is an open system because in academia we love the open, so the open software. Moreover, it has a bigger development behind it and has a large set of tools like uh, the green boss. We use the features are, are highlighted. The traffic network. The city of Valencia is the third largest city in Spain after Madrid and Barcelona, surpassing 800,000 inhabitants in the municipality. The vehicle fleet is approximately 5,000 vehicles. The road network is about 300 kilometers long. The center of city traffic management controls the traffic of the city and knows the status in real time through detectors installed in the traffic lanes and closed circuit television images, CCTV images. All this information is transmitted using TCP fiber optic communications. The traffic information associated with a specific POG in the urban traffic network. Traffic detectors along the city provides vehicles intensity information. A set of detectors contributes to a measurement point. The intensity is measured in several vehicles per hour and it's obtained by a combination of intensities different detectors. Valencia has about more than 1,300 monitored road segments. Information intensity is every is, uh, recorded every 10 minutes. For this study we use the data of the year 2017. The origin destination matrices. The, the demand of the for transport and mobility of the population in cities are identified by different ser service. In Valencia community in 2016 through a survey, the inhabitants were asked to complete the description of their travel diaries, to know their roads and trips of their work days and weekends, assuming that the people have relatively constant mobility patterns, thus an origin destination matrix have been configured. The matrix provides daily resolution information of the intensity of exposure of the type of transport the people use. The traffic light regulation system. Valencia has more than 1,000 interactions, intersections regulated by traffic lights in the 
in real time depending on the different traffic conditions to avoid queues in the streets, reduce the delays and increase the circulation speed. The Lagrangian algorithm is a scalar function in which temporal evolution of a dynamic system can be obtained it has a multi-target approach using a input, the initial origin destination matrix that was obtained from the service, Lagrange algorithm multipliers that the traffic counts at a specific time of the day, incorporates updating processes that control the deviation of the adjusted travel matrix from a previous one, um, matrices reach the convergence after several repetitions and the algorithm allows reproduce the observed traffic flows, finding a quick solution without requiring computation resources. The methodology. These are the steps that are part of the methodology. Uh, basically, the all the inputs described before, we are going to process here with Sumo and the mathematical model to reconstruct the scenario to quantify the emissions and pollution. Uh, first, they identify the demand for transport and mobility. So here, with the information provided by the sensorization from all the monitoring uh, strict segments and the number of journeys characterized in the origin de destination matrix, we have analyzed the average of the road traffic during the different hours of the day. This is important because later we will use as a multiplicative factors of Lagrange. Definition the vehicle fleet and its characteristics. From the Spanish Traffic Management Authority, a customized report is obtained with the number of vehicles in operations and their main features. Configuration of a database composed with parameters like vehicle topology, fuel, technological regulations, and weight relative then filtering and grouping by different attributes. The database will be affected by corresponding emission factors to obtain the total emissions of each of the pollutant contemplated and the CO2 equivalent. The design of the road network model. The network model was downloaded from OpenStreetMap from the whole metropolitan area of Valencia Reviewing the graphic representation, in case of notice and inconsistency on the dataset, it was manually corrected using NetEdit. For example, here changing the number of lines in the dead end for, uh, for four lanes to, to continue in four lanes. The zoning into district or neighborhoods with an aggregate system to characterize the mobility is, is currently taking place, quantify it and make forecasts. We use the administrative division of neighborhoods, so we obtain 64 polygons uh, were created as a traffic area zone, and the whole zonification was processed using net edit with the traffic area zone option. The estimation of the target source matrix uh, from the obtained 64 by 64 matrix that represents the trips that people make daily. In the configuration file, the, all the matrices, the first column represent the origin zone, the second column represent the destination of the displacement, and in the third column, the quantity of vehicles that are going to make this trip. Improvement of the algorithm of the origin destination matrix. The algorithm performs a certain operation on each of the elements of the matrix after an analysis of the uh, different components of the initial matrix, the algorithm acts just on the necessary elements. One of the elements needed by the OID matrix reforming program is the three-dimensional probability matrix PK that shows the probability that a vehicle with a defined origin I and destination J will circulate through each of the possible K sections existing on the road network. To obtain the final improvement matrix, various origin destination matrices were used as interactions. Mathematical models to refine origin destination matrices converts as a, a process towards an scenario close to a real situation. The centroid is adequate to compare distributions and understanding risks in decision making. The origin destination matrix changes 
based on the difference in number of flows using mathematical models based on multivariate statistical methods and control dispersion rates that characterize the variability of the data. The convergence process is achieved when the changes meet the conditions then the obtained matrix is accepted and the traffic load is simulated. Otherwise, the, the iteration process continues. The treatment and analysis of results and information preparation. To show the potential of the developed models, the results of emissions of the different types of pollutants are shown with the maximum possible granularity and with the highest periodicity. A graphic representation of, of geolocalization of emission levels allows visualizing and analyzing numerical values in a special context. A geolocalization quantification can be studied in specific sectors and sections with the possibility to disaggregate the different pollutants according uh, fuel topology. The results are useful to be part of a support tool for decision making, thus these results could be convenient structure for compilation of emission information offered as an interactive elements that could be part displayed in dashboards. Finally, the definition of new scenarios can be considered to carry out simulation of observed their effects on the emissions. For instance, run simulations with different traffic light control programs. Valencia has approximately 27 patterns where each program is primarily adapted to a wide variety of conditions like weather, time, seasonal, and the combination among them. Results Simulations carried out considering the average daily data for the whole year of 2017 for each hour changing the seat and up to 10 repetitions of the simulations. In each execution, the redefinition of matrices to adjust the traffic volume that pass through the detectors. This data serves as an input for the new iteration simulation. The objective of this article is to show the effectiveness of the methodological carried out. So we just show one of the graphs that will be part of the dashboard for users who make the decisions. We can see here the city neighborhoods with the daily average CO2 emissions obtained after the simulation. The dark colors have the lowest emissions and the light yellow colors have the highest emissions. We confirm an expected result of the neighborhood districts that are next to the large motorways are entered and leave the city are most affected by the CO2 emissions. In the same way that CO2 emissions have been treated, the contaminant emissions, uh, nitrogen dioxide, NO2, particular matter with a diameter of less than 2.5 micrometers, PM 2.5, both data are totally available at the end of the simo simulation. Further research. Uh, as a future research, we pretend at the strategic level contribute to the improvement of scientific and technological knowledge to meet the objectives of a low carbon economy. At the technological level, improve the precision and granularity of the spatial and temporal representation of the emissions. At a cooperative level, integrate and combine efforts in research, developments, and innovations in the fight against the climate change. Conclusions. Information about the environmental impact influence of traffic on emissions can be obtained by imputing data collected from road traffic into different mathematical models. Sumo micro simulation makes it possible to consider different simulation scenarios to analyze emissions might be altered through time by different traffic mitigation approaches. A mathematical model using a large amount of information available allows to improve the accuracy of emissions predictions Georeferenced allows a better characteristic the character of distribution of carbon footprint and another pollutants in the city. Manage these problems will generate new challenges and increase opportunities for local governments. Both the public administration and planners can measure the impact of their mitigation plans and adapt their approaches to climate change in order to reduce the carbon footprint of the transport sector. That's all. Thank you very much for your pay attention. Uh, if you have any question, please let me know in the space reserved for questions.
or send us an email to this address.